Uh, hello everyone, and here I am with my first uh, Bionicle Classic review for Throwback Thursday, and this one is on uh, Pohaktu and Tahu Matas from 2001. And now, a little first thing to note is, like, am I copying LJ from the Three Virtues channel? Well, no. Well, I see other people call these Bionicle Classic reviews, and that's kind of how it goes sometimes. But there is no copying or whatever. So we'll start off with the caster entry, which I'll only do for Pohatu. So here, the, on this caster, of which is the same as the uh, Robo Riders caster. So on the front of which, you see Pohatu kick in the stone there. Then there's the Lego Technic logo, at least until in the following year when they branched off as their own thing, Bonacle Sign. And see seven plus and has forty nine pieces and set number is eight five three one. And then the other side you see the ever so important symbol Pohaktu, and then how to put him in the caster. But it's the first time of being able to put a toy in it without ruining anything. And poster included. Well, if you still do. Then also this little spin thing which they. Kind of only did for this time is the Toa and the mask and the little code for it, which might not be valid anymore. There's Golly, Onua, Liwa, and then Tahu, and then Kopaka, and then back to Pohaktu. And also, neat thing is also shows a little story. Watchor, boom, and then put together now. So a lot of neat stuff going on with these casters. I just wish they really could have done so for the other times, but at least it can kind of vary. But your various your opinions may vary. But also the top of which does have a regular mask or I mean headpiece which you can attach a mask onto and also surrounding it are little pin or or the little axle rod holes to connect onto it and form the Toa Suva. And if you look inside, that these are like the actual Toa casters, which were a part in the storyline, obviously. And also another neat thing which they, of which did since the Roll Riders and all the other years, is where you can stack them on top of each other, make it easier to ship them out and everything, and yeah. So first of all, is which Paul Hawk to himself, of which, look to tell you something that he of which first set that I've ever got. And well, without him, wouldn't have Bonacles in the first place for me, and yeah. So his feet, the normal Toa feet, and also do have those like boot pieces, which were also used with Pohatu Nuva, and also Jenga Fett's Slave 1 at the time in 2002, also, of course. And his color scheme mainly. Dark brown and tan, with a bit of black here and there. But uh, what's quite unique about him is where his torso of which is somewhat upside down, where the other ones are like positioned like that. So it's upside down so you can have a unique kicking feature. And if you wonder what these uh, little pins on the sides are for, it's so you can build one of the Toei Kaitas, obviously. And well, his neck attachment, which they also use with Pohatu Nuvo, but can kind of wobble up and down a little bit, but not a big deal. And as for the arms, which are the uh, Lizer Throwbot and Rumble Rider Throw Arm, and also the Throwbot shoulder pieces used for the hands, which of course do click into place, you get some three rod, black three rods. This when they first used them when they were in black, but later on they made them uh, like bluish gray you know, over time. And for and if you look underneath it, it is one of the old Toa faces, which if you like connect it to the eyepiece, it's like really stuck to it, unless if you had some special tools to get that out. And this mask of which, which they also use with Huki and other ones throughout over time, and and of course, in 2015 and 16 uh, Gen 2 versions, 
they brought back this original look to it. And of course, in a lighter brown color, and instead of having that little thing there, had the little uh, slots to flip to the sides of the masks, obviously. And also, don't know if it, the camera picks this up, but there's a little mask code on there, and it is 5 MG. Yeah. Yeah, of course. So, with his main feature, is with this little system uh, uh, ball or rock there, used from like the Rock Raiders line, and, but also used on 2016 Kohatu set, where you can like use this and then just kick it out um, in soccer ball kind of style like in that one video where he did that and then kind of moonwalked backwards for some reason so, and i think that is it with oha 2 and now on to everyone's favorite and the trademark face of bonicle tahu himself which also quite cool but still kind of cool to this day so his legs are just simplistic of the earlier builds, but with no bending motion and everything. Well, until the Rakshi in 2003 and the Metru in 2004. And same with the arms, obviously. And as for the ball piece for the chest, well, which they also used with Liwa and Kopaka in the or in this line as well. And then also do got the same exact gear functions which they always had. They would turn this in, makes the arms move up and down. But can't position them with it. At least until they fixed that with 2015 reboot. And, and but interesting thing with Tahu is that he which is the only one that has the same piece for both arms and legs rather than just two different uh, arm leg pieces for that. And his hand also the same as Pohatu's, but in red, of course. But in his flame sword, which was also used in other system sets, as well as the Agori Barracks set in 2009, but it was in bright blue. And as for Tolum, as for Tahu's like headpiece, his is in bright pink for some reason. Well, well, I guess kind of works for him, although it could have been orange, just like po Pohatu's, but probably wanted to keep them different from each other but and as for his mask the Kanohi Hao or Ohatu's was the Kanohi Kakama and his of which is the mask of shielding which did make its way on several other things throughout over the years and of course in the 2015 Tahu it does have sort of the same designs with like with the flares and all and also so it does have that little thing rather than a plus thing or axle connecting to in it, which the uh, uh, 2010 Stars version did. And his in the mask code right there being uh, 4-CR, of course. So, and not sure if you could like do this at the time, but at least until like Tahu Nuva's version, where you can like make the sword a, a surfboard. Or at least you can probably make it out of that, because in one of the old videos he does get onto the uh, rock slab and use that as a surfboard, of course, until they made that part of in Tahu of course. And so on to my final verdict on these two. So these of which are uh, pretty cool sets for the time, at least. Like, of course, Pohatu and Tahu. Although Tatu, the last Toamata I got, and Pohatu, the first Bonkle set I've ever gotten. So they're quite near and dear to me, and I bet they were to a lot of you too. And if you still have these sets, well, I hope you had some good memories with them, and yeah. And this is this a good way to start off my Bonkle Classic reviews, and stay tuned for next next Throwback Thursday and every other Throwback Thursday for these, as well as with my Star Wars Throwback Thursdays, and yeah. But if you still have access to these sets, then I'd say go ahead and find them online, like eBay, Bricklink, whatever. And that is it with this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.